This is a telegram from President John F. Kennedy to Dr. Harry Waisman to congratulate Dr. Waisman and his associates on the occasion of the dedication of the Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Memorial Laboratories at the University of Wisconsin. And this is what the President said. It is my hope that through the facilities of this and other such laboratories throughout the country, many more of the causes of mental retardation, which was the terminology used then, now afflicting millions of Americans will be discovered and that preventative measures to this most serious medical problem will be developed. My special good wishes go to Dr. Waisman on the culmination of his dream and to the many young people who, through his efforts and that of the University of Wisconsin, will now be able to enter and soon conquer the vast field of mental retardation and its attendant problems, John F. Kennedy. But I want to point out that the date on this telegram is a historic date. It's November 20th, 1963 which was just two days before President Kennedy's assassination. So when we think back about Harry Waisman's legacy and the contribution that his work has made to our future, that's the moment in history where it began, really. And social responsibility of all physicians who see children. The reason that, that the University of Wisconsin named the Waisman Center in memory of Harry Waisman is that he died at a young age in his 50s, um, tragically and he was to be the first director of what was going to be called the Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Memorial Research Center. But the Kennedy family asked the University of Wisconsin to rename our center in memory of Dr. Weissman, who would have been the first director. <laughs>